How can you yeah. measure the effects and show that, you know, test out Einstein's theories? We're talking about here on Earth with clocks and with, uh, with special, uh, special clocks. What about looking out into the cosmos? Can we look out there and see if there are experiments happening on their own that could measure these? Max. Yeah, so we heard fr from Paul and you guys here that, that both speed and gravity can mess with the rate at which time flows. And what I love about being an astrophysicist is that when you look out into space, these aren't just tiny effects that you have to measure 17 decimal places to notice. They're huge effects. They're really in your face. Uh, to me, as an astrophysicist, the idea that gravity slows down time is just as obvious as it is to you that stepping on the brakes slows down your car. And it's a big effect. And the most spectacular thing we can do nearby is just go to the monster black hole that lives in the middle of our Milky Way galaxy. That's it's not a real black hole, is it? This is an, a really awesome simulation of it that my friend Andrew <laughs> Hamilton <laughs> made. But the black the hole, I have bad news, is real. It weighs four million times as much as the sun does. This intimidating looking circular disk that you see is the event horizon, the region where the gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it, that's why it's black, right? And the weird patterns you see around it are simply this powerful gravity bending the light rays, like we heard here. Just like a funny mirror in the amusement park would bend the light rays and make your face look funny. And we can actually go there without using hardly any rocket fuel at all. If we go in an orbit that gradually spirals into it and parks in what I like to call the tourist orbit, which is exactly twice the radius of the uh, Schwarzschild radius. It's an unstable orbit, so don't fall asleep <laughs> to the steering wheel, because <laughs> if you make a mistake, you know, it might be your last. Yes. But it, while we're orbiting around there, our friends on Earth will see us orbit around a long distance there, about the same distance as from the sun to the Earth, in 16 minutes. And how long does it take the sunlight to get from the sun to Earth? It takes... Nine minutes? Yeah, about eight minutes. Yeah. So that means people on Earth see us going at half the speed of light. Yet, when we are in there, it will, we will measure that it takes 16 minutes to go around. So our time has slowed down to half the rate, which means if I'm Skyping back home to Earth to my mommy, I'll be going like, Hi, mommy. <laughs> and she will see not just that my brain is running slowly down there, but she will also see that the clock on board our spaceship and everything else is also running at half the speed. So she will actually correctly infer that I will not be able to tell from looking at Paul Davis and my other fellow travelers in the spaceship that anything is weird. It will seem totally normal to us because we're all slow down together. And instead, when I look at mommy on Earth, I will see her speaking twice as fast. So she'll be going like, oh, Max, I'm so worried about you. I think you're, I'm so nervous that you're speaking so slowly. I'm worried about you're going to suck into the black hole. Whoa. And I'll be like, I'm fine, mommy. <laughs> you know, you and do this very well. This is the key principle <laughs> of, of, of relativity that we just heard about, which is that you always think you are right about the flow of time and that everybody else is wrong. It's just like yeah. if you feel that you're having an argument with someone and you know you're right and they're wrong, and then it suddenly hits you that that's exactly how they feel too. Right. 